Hi friends, it is time for math. So today you are going to need this handy dandy making relationships or representing chart that is in your packet. It is on the back side of your math game that you played yesterday. So make sure you have this out. I drew one on the board behind me so I can show you how we're going to use it. And then mom or dad is going to need the math packet. This part here right at the bottom. I'm going to show you right here. This part here at the bottom has some problems that they can use to folk to use and practice with the representing mat. If the problems are too difficult for your child, feel free to make your own problems up. I kind of made a problem up so I can show you what we are doing here on the board. But basically, we are going to be taking a story problem and breaking it down and figuring out how we can draw it in pictures, how we can draw it using objects, how we can do it with words where we write how we solve the problem and then we would write an equation so as you may or may not know i have a puppy his name is tadpole and he comes up in a lot of different things that i do so my problem today is if tadpole gets one chewy cookie and three crunchy cookies a day how many cookies does he eat so i could think about it and i can draw it out over here i'm going to start with objects you could use Cheerios at home to represent two different things, like Cheerios and goldfish like we did for the game yesterday. Or you could just draw with two different colors. Now remember that there is only one of these in your chart, in your packet. So if you need to draw on it because you don't have any objects, make sure you either draw it on the whiteboard that came with your things or on another piece of paper. So I'm going to use pink for his chewy cookies. And I'm going to use purple for his crunchy cookies. And see how I underlined that in my story problem so that I knew what colors I was using. So if I'm going to draw objects, I'm going to draw cookies. So he's got a chewy cookie. It's kind of flower shaped at home. And his crunchy cookies actually look like Cheerios. They're just big Cheerios. So he gets one, two, three of those. A day. So he really likes all of his cookies. He only ever gets them when it's bedtime. Now I have my objects here. Now I'm going to draw a picture. And pictures can be as simple as using circles or squares to help me know. So remember that there is three crunchy cookies. And one chewy cookie. Now, sometimes I think that it is easier for me to write my equation before I write my words on how I solved my problem. So my equation would be, I know that when it says, how many cookies does he eat that I am adding? So I want to make sure I have something plus something equals something. So now I know that I have something plus something equals something else. So our some things would be the type of cookies that he eats. So we know that there is one chewy cookie and three crunchy cookies. And I'm going to look at that and go, hmm, one plus three. I wonder how many that equals. Think to yourself to see if you know the answer. For just one second. I can't remember exactly what one plus three is. So I know that I can go back and I can count in my picture or with my objects and that will help me solve the problem. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four. So one plus three equals four cookies. So when I get to this part where it says words, that is where I'm going to write how I solved my problem. So how do we solve the problem? Think to see if you can tell me to the computer how we solve the problem. So we solve the problem. So we can say we solved the problem by drawing a picture of 
of the kinds of cookies. And then we counted. That is how simple it is to use this math to solve a problem. Now, like I said, mom and dad, there's the, there's the words here in the packet that I'm sure that they will need help reading. There are a lot of different kinds of problems. For your practice today, if you want to make up simple addition problems with sums to 20, that would be the way to go with your students. You could try some subtraction as well. But for first grade, our standard is adding and subtracting to one, within 20. So that would be where I would start today, especially if those problems are slightly difficult. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message on Dojo. I hope you all have fun playing with this mat. I want you to practice at least five different word problems. Have a great day.